a survey was conducted at a local ballroom dance studio asking 67 students if they had ever competed in the following dance categories. Smooth, rhythm, standard. Use the Venn diagram to determine the probabilities, express the probabilities as percentages, run it to the tenths. Because we want the probabilities as percents to the tenths, we'll have to first get the probabilities as a decimal to the thousands or three decimal places. Looking at the Venn diagram, notice how the number of students in each set are indicated by the numbers in the Venn diagram. So if we added up all these numbers, including these four students here, the sum would be 67 students. We're first asked to find the probability a student competed in smooth. Looking at the Venn diagram, here is the smooth set, which indicates the number of students that competed in smooth. The number of students is 12 plus 6 plus 9 plus 14, which is 41. 41 out of 67 students competed in smooth, and therefore the probability of smooth is 41 sixty-sevenths. And now let's get the decimal in percent. 41 divided by 67 to three decimal places is approximately 0 0.612. Which is equal to 61.2%. Next, we have to find the probability a student competed in rhythm and standard. We find the students that competed in rhythm and standard in the intersection of the rhythm and standard sets. So, looking at the Venn diagram, here we have the rhythm set, here we have the standard set. The intersection of the two sets is this set here. Notice 9 plus 10 are 19 out of 67 students competed in rhythm and standard, the probability of rhythm and standard is 19 sixty-sevenths. Which to three decimal places is approximately 0 0.284, which is 28.4%. Next we have the probability of smooth or standard we find the students that competed in smoother standard in the union of the smooth and standard sets. So here's the smooth set, here's the standard set. The union of the two sets is this set here. The number of students that competed in smooth or standard is 12 plus 6 plus 9 plus 14, which we know is 41 from the first probability. And then we have plus 10 plus 5, which gives us a total of 56 out of 67 students competing in smooth or standard. And therefore the probability of smoother standard is 56 divided by 67, or 56 sixty-sevenths. To three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.836. which is 83.6%. And then for the last example, we're asked to find the probability of not smooth, which are all the students that are outside the smooth set or not in the smooth set. So if this is the smooth set, all the students not competing in smooth are in this set here. Well, we know there are 67 students all together, and we know there are 41 students that competed in smooth. 67 minus 41 is equal to 26. There are 26 students not in the smooth set. Or we can also determine the 26 by adding 7, 10, 5, and 4, which is 26. 26 out of 67 students did not compete in smooth, and therefore the probability of not smooth is 26 sixty-sevenths which is approximately 0 0.388, which is 38.8%. I hope you found this helpful.